Hello, sixth graders. Today we're going to talk about some different types of revisions that you could add into your narrative story to make your story even more action packed and descriptive and sophisticated. So, one type of revision that I like to do is this right here the thoughts and feelings. Um, so, your feelings are pretty straightforward. These would be just how you were feeling in the moment. A lot of you, I saw your story plans and you have um, action packed stories where you have something really great going on and you could pick a positive feeling like excited um, or eager, things like that. Or you have a story that's about a problem, like a time you got hurt or something, and you can describe how you were feeling like I was so worried about something. So, if I'm thinking about my story, um, with my dog Jack, I could say something like at the part where the dog was running out, I was so frightened that the dog was going to hurt one of us or I was worried that Jack was really hurt or things like that. That's pretty straightforward. The second one is your thoughts. So uh, some good sentence starters to kind of get you going on your thoughts um, are I hoped, I wished, or I wondered. So this is kind of letting your reader know exactly what was going on in your head during your story. So it might sound something like, I wondered if Jack was going to be okay, or I wished that we could get to the vet as soon as possible, or I hoped, um, you know, the dog wouldn't also bite Kara or Max, you know, so something like that. You're kind of giving insight into um, your thoughts so your reader can know exactly what was going on in your mind. The next type are some actions or reactions. So these are just more things that you did or that somebody else in your story did. So some examples that you could use would be facial expressions. So I could talk about um, in my story situation, I saw Kara's mouth drop open and her eyes go wide as the dog ran towards us. That's describing her face to the reader. Um, you could also talk about small movements or large movements. So your small movements could be like, I jerked, you know, Jack's leash behind me. Or large movements would be um, maybe about a different character in my story. Max ran down the street to get away from the dog, things like that. So today your goal would be to add in four new sentences, at least. You can do probably tons more. But four is the goal. You would have one thought one feeling, one action, and one reaction. That's how somebody reacted to something else happening. Um, so that would be four new sentences to your narrative story today. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys get.